to my channel. My name is Maggie. I'm your average 20 something year old working in Toronto as a data scientist. In this video, I'm taking you on work week in the life with me and bringing you along on the kinds of projects I'm working on, what my schedule looks like, as well as lives in general in Toronto. I am working hybrid these days and absolutely love the amount of flexibility and autonomy that I have in terms of when I work, where I work, and how I work. And let's get the workday started. Okay, good morning. It's currently Monday. I just finished checking up on, on my emails and my communications over the weekend while I was eating my breakfast. So today is actually going to be a quiet day. Um, my only meeting at 9 a.m. So usually we have a meeting on Monday. 9 a.m. with people from Philippines and Singapore but because it's a holiday there we have moved that to Tuesday this week um, yeah I actually think I don't have any meetings today it's really just a head down cold day so for work I'm actually trying to finish a project that I've been working on for the past three months at this point the deadline is end of this week and I have done, I would say, like 90% of the work. There's still a lot to do. I need to finish writing my documentation. I also have some more data to generate. So essentially the designs team is providing a few very concrete use cases that they can use and the salespeople can approach the clients with. We have six use cases. I've completed four of them, but the other two are also sort of halfway done. I just need to regenerate data, retweak it a little bit, do some experiments to make sure everything looks good. Um, and then I need to go for my documentations again, send them over to other stakeholders, to upper management, and see if everything looks good and if there's anything I need to change before we wrap up the project. Yeah, uh, let's get to work. For those of you that use GCP, Google Cloud Platform for work, have you ever run into the problem where you're trying to use Vertex AI's workbench and you're starting up an instance and it just keeps running and running and running and just won't start? I've run into this problem literally so many times. It's really annoying because you just sort of start an instance and then you would go do something else and when you come back expect it to be finished and started up but it just doesn't and you have to take the time to stop it and kind of keep coming back to check on it to see if it stopped so that you can start it again it's just it's, it's got a lot of problems anyways rent over back to work After work, my boyfriend and I had this big Costco trip planned. Going to Costco for some reason always feels like a big event to us because I swear every time we walk out of there, the bill is like $300. I would still like to think that we save a lot of money by buying things in bulk like toilet paper and dishwasher detergent. But on a second thought, maybe we also go through items that much faster because of lack of scarcity of the goods. Like in the back of our minds, we know we have 40 more rolls of toilet paper and so we don't save as much. I don't know friends, do you think shopping at Costco actually saves money or is it a trap? Let me know in the comment below. Good morning. It's currently 
a Tuesday at 7.15 a.m. I am clearly not awake yet. Um, I am just sitting outside of my Pilates class studio. I just got here a bit early today. Um, I do this twice a week and I actually quite enjoy it because it forced me to get up. I don't usually get up before 7 at all, if before 8, but I do enjoy a Pilates class. If I sign up, I don't care, so I have to pay for the full class, obviously, so it motivates me to get up and then get my day going. I actually feel really good afterwards. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go now and I will see you in a bit. I made it just in time for my meeting. I'm actually a little late. Usually I have time to come home and take a shower before I got on my 9 a.m. But right now it's 8.53. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get ready to get on my call and then take a shower afterwards, get ready and then go to work. Because today is Tuesday and we all go to work on Tuesdays. So we go in once a week. Oh, we find that most work we can do totally home remotely, but um, coming together once a week is really great for brainstorming, catch up, updates, things of that sort, discussions. Um, and so we are all going in on Tuesdays and today's the day. two hour long conversation with my manager today in the kitchen because I'm wrapping up this large project our conversation mostly focused on my presentation for the delivery meeting we'll have many stakeholders in the room such as head of sales chief revenue officer the chief product officer our co-founder senior product manager solution consultants and of course my team and I as well as my manager who is the VP of research as a result it's very important to create a presentation that is concise but also catered to everyone in the room. We decided to distribute deliverables and documentations ahead of time so that people are familiar with the project and can come prepared with relevant questions. This is also to be respectful of everyone's time and avoid me reading materials during the meeting that people could have easily skimmed through ahead of time. We also chatted about next steps for me. It was almost kind of like a one-on-one. -on -one. I shared my learnings from the current project, what I liked, what I didn't like, what the team or I could have done better. I also shared my goals and general direction on things I want to work on next. It's currently just a little bit past 4 p.m. Everybody has left, the office is empty, but since the office is empty, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Let's go! Okay, so the room I'm in right now with the whiteboard and the view is the coding room. So we come here, there are six desks in here. Um, we come here to do some head down coding work if we have to. This is just a small room tucked away and we are a very small team here um, of maybe around six people. My company is headquartered in Singapore. And we are selling furniture, so we're giving up the lease end of next month so as you can see um, we don't have a lot of chairs left and this is the main space of the office so it's sort of a big open space i really enjoy that this high tables are where we have lunch together and i actually bought two of these stools you probably see in some of the other videos and so these desks are entirely meaningful to their own wheels. You can put them in different shapes and we use that to collaborate together, brainstorm, anything that involves the creativity pursuit. And yeah, we have, so, okay, <laughs> this is hard. That's the coding room and no, this is the coding room. That's used to be my manager's office. And then we have two rooms in here. They are mostly for one-on-ones and project meetings can't forget about the kitchen not a big space but everything that you can need fridge water fountain 
coffee machine, snacks, anything we need. And then we have a shared bathroom with the rest of the tenants on this floor. One more room here is the meeting room. We never used it. When the CEO comes here from Singapore sometimes, he would take up that room for meetings. This is the office tour. I think I'm gonna head on now. When I got home, I made myself a snack, changed into my comfort clothes, and did some content work for the night. For those of you who have been here for a minute, you know that the Humane Society is my sacred happy place. I volunteer with the cat team for a few hours every weekend, greeting visitors at the shelter, and also I'm in charge of all of their voicemails and emails every other day. After work today, I spent some time fulfilling my remote volunteering duties and got back to all of the callers that we have missed throughout the day. The time commitment really varies by the day. Some days we have three calls, other days we can have 20. Today, it took around 40 minutes. I then spent my evening relaxing, made dinner with my boyfriend, and watched a few episodes of the show before my evening meeting. It is quite common for me to have a few late night or early morning meetings because we are a global company, and my team has a 12-hour difference with our headquarters in Singapore. This evening, the research team had a bi-weekly check-in meeting with our product team in Asia to make sure that we are still aligned on timeline and objectives. Good morning! It's currently Thursday, um, 9.24 a.m. I went to a Pilates class this morning, took a shower, and now I'm ready for work. So last night's meeting did end a little late. We had people from Singapore on the call and that was just a time that ended up working out for us. So it did go past 10 p.m. and I'm allowing myself to start work out a little bit later this morning. I'm being a little bit bold with my coffee choice this morning and we'll see how it works. So here I have a single shot of espresso in ice and I'm gonna try to make an ice americano with coconut water. I'm in this phase where I just love everything coconut. I just thought I would give it a try. Let's see how it tastes. So I'm gonna pour the coconut water in the espresso. It's looking good. Moment of truth. Mm. Okay, I think if you like coconut on coffee, definitely give it a try. But I'm usually a coffee plus milk person, so I think I'm going to add a little bit of cream or milk to this just to give it a bit more milky taste and bring down the coffee taste a notch. But I think it's really good. I would definitely try it if you like coconut. Mm. And for work today, it's going to be a head down cold day, so it's going to be a really quiet day. I don't have any meetings until later today. I also have a dentist appointment I'm not looking forward to. Um, I have to fill some cavities. For work, I really need to botch down and finish my two business use cases. I also do have some data tweaking work to do, and I'm writing down my observations, putting them together in report forms and a interactive UI. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's get to work.
did have another 9 p.m. meeting on Thursday again and it was a one-on-one -on -one with the CEO this time. I have these one-on-ones every three to six weeks because I took on a company-wide cross-functional communication project a while back and it is very much an ongoing effort and because of the nature of this project I chat with the CEO once in a while for updates and alignments. It is finally Friday, friends. This week felt really, really long for me. I don't know if it's actually showing on camera. Because it's Friday, you can definitely find me in my comfy as a retail hoodie and some sweatpants. I did some content work earlier this morning, caught up on brand emails, and did some edit as well for my next few reels. Today at work is going to be more intense than most Fridays. I regret to inform that the team is definitely behind on the deadline, but going to it this morning actually felt really optimistic, thinking a lot can be done in a day. We'll see about that. At 10 a.m., we had our weekly research team meeting. This is one time of the week, other than Tuesdays, of course, that all of us would be in the same room sharing project updates. This meeting is officially called Show and Tell. It's pretty straightforward. We would share a screen if we have any progress to show, otherwise, just verbally share updates and if we had or have any blockers. <laughs> In the afternoon, aside from my typical work, I was also working on a letter to HR for salary increase. I had my boyfriend's help as a proofreader and, of course, ChatGPT to make my sentences sound more professional and coherent. As I am editing this video right now, I did get verbal confirmation that my 15% raise has been approved. Another video is coming soon on how I was able to achieve this with the help of ChatGPT. Stay tuned! Alright guys, if you made it this far, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. This is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.